I mean, a lot of people have asked me, have we reached the peak cycle of AI in terms of the Gartner hype cycle? A few years ago, a lot of people talked about AI, um, but there weren't a lot of real examples of the impact it could make on the industry. Now I think it's completely different. We at Benevolent and, and others have clearly demonstrated that in early drug discovery, artificial intelligence can help with better target selection and reduce the time it takes to get from a lead to a candidate molecule. It, there's also demonstration that you can use AI to better stratify patients and therefore you know, hopefully make clinical trials uh, more um, successful. So I think if we look at the hype cycle, I think we've definitely gone over the peak of um, expectations and through the trough of despair, and now we're really on the beginning of the slope of enlightenment. So I think it's a really exciting time. The big pharma companies are all at different stages of their AI journey. Companies like AstraZeneca, Novartis and Roche really see digital in general and AI in particular as the key to their success going forward. Others are still dipping their toes in the water and I think it's also true for related industries like the clinical research organisations. So we're at different stages of the journey. What's really important I think is that going forward this conference has demonstrated that the current business models and the success rates of innovation in the biotech industry and the pharmaceutical industry in general are not sustainable. So we have to do something different. And actually it's those companies that really embrace AI and a digital agenda and ch change the shape of their organisations and their data acquisition strategies to deliver on that that are, are going to be successful in the future.